Yep. Okay, plug it, turn it on. That noise you may or not, may not be hearing uh, is the air pump. I mean, the poop, I mean uh, that, the vacuum for this the vacuum okay. chamber. The balloon's getting bigger? To show that the vacuum. And uh, we use socks and these very powerful magnets so we can drag it around because there's no way of reaching inside the, the, this thing because right now it's impossible to pull up. I would pull this up a bit except there's some iron sulfur which might spill. And uh, at the end there's going to be a grand finish. All this is going to shoot up. Or at least a bunch of paper is going to fly around and be painted. For a napkin. So we need to wait until that water right there that's dripping from the ice cube freezes. And uh, that's not going to take long. It's going to bubble and freeze. I just have to do washing the ocean. All right, you want to show them? Okay. So, go ahead and move it just a little bit just so they can see what you're talking about. Uh, please slide around a bit. Just remember, just can't lift it up at all. It's just got to slide. Okay. And there's two of them, so we can control both ends. Okay. So the plan We're gonna is dip it in this iron surface. After there's enough of a vacuum, the water can't exist, only ice or vapor. Hey look, it's already frozen. How could it be frozen already? It's frozen. No, it's not frozen. The balloon isn't even full yet. That's frozen. No, it's not. Yes. So what's that in it? Huh. There are, it looks like a couple bubbles, but I don't think it's frozen. Oh, it's like a bunch of it's like, it's it's like frozen pieces in it. Or maybe bubbling. Yeah, that's bubbles. That's what should be happening, by the way. Yeah, the, the water turns to vapor, and so you get bubbles in there. And eventually uh, it gets cold. We should just change the channel's name to Smarter Every Day or something. I know this has already been taken, by the way. Also, sadly, once we unplug the vacuum, I mean, plug out this thing after we turn off the vacuum, that will be a little too tight. It should almost be broken. It's probably close No, it, it took almost 10 minutes last time. No. Which you didn't notice. I'm not actually sure if it's still working. Like we have to wait until this thing is actually full and we can't tell when it's full. Except when it's full and turn that water into ice. Basically we want it so you can't have water leak, or can't have liquid water. Because the test is if we can get the ice to get the iron sulfate damp when there's no liquid water. That is the question. Because if this does work, that's halfway proving that's a wrong. <laughs> it's at least some sort of support for our theory. It doesn't exactly prove NASA wrong, but... I said half. <laughs> Not exactly. I don't think we're even halfway there, man, but it's fun. A quarter of it. <laughs> a quarter. In the meantime, what are we going to do for the end of the Is the balloon getting any bigger or is it... Much still, bigger! Is it still getting larger though? Or is uh, it the same size now? I think that's the usual bit. Yeah, it's not getting any bigger. It won't get any bigger. It's not going to be bigger. Also, I just shook the table.
<laughs> okay, um, huh? it's just sort of boring. Is it frozen? No, it's still liquid. It looks different when it's ice. I'm bumping this around, it's not shaking. Hmm? I'm bumping this around, it's not shaking. The, the ice cube is shaking, but the water is not shaking. But don't. Ah. Uh. Wiggle a little bit. It looks different when it turns ice, money. It's more like cloudy. Cloudy? Yeah, you'll see. Well, look at the ice cube. You see how it's not as clear? That's a silence. That was weird. Wait, are you going to record it? I think it is frozen, Ryan. It's frozen! Okay, let's go a little bit longer. It's. Wait, it's been 19 minutes? It jumped. There was like a, a bubble of air below it and the whole ice. Oh, yeah, up. that thing's frozen. Yeah. Should we? No. Let's just go another minute. Let's not minute. keep the people's writing. Oh, well, I want to be sure there's no liquid anywhere, so I just. There's no liquid. It's the only spot there was liquid dropping. Okay. Besides no, over here. There's no liquid on the ice cube itself. Yeah. No. All right. Let's. Let me do it. Let me do it. Okay. You be the puppet master. <laughs> the puppet master. Hold, this is. Hold the ball. <laughs> or the bubble. The vacuum chamber, whatever it is. <laughs> it's a vacuum chamber. Otherwise, no, it's a bubble. Oh gosh. There's like a writing on. This part, I'm sliding over the writing. By the way, we've attempted this a lot. This is the first time it's probably gonna work. Like we already, we already had like one okay. thing that this also is not being able to pick this up. We have landed. Houston, we have landed. Okay. Now we just let it it's sit. It's wetting. Huh? It's wetting. You think that it's changing color? I see it changing color over here. <laughs> like pull it up a bit. And oh. Pull that back a bit. No. No, it's not. Let me sit down again. I would have to change color again. If the water vapor, as it comes out of the ice, can make the iron sulfate absorb some of the water vapor, the iron sulfate would change color. How does that support ours? Because my theory is that the snow sliding down the hill gets the dirt to show to change color. Okay. There was only trails. But the trail is because the dirt is a different yeah. color. It looks a different color because probably it's absorbed water. Yeah. So we're trying to see if we can get this to absorb water. Now, this isn't the ultimate test because it's not like banging on it like an ice, you know, sliding down a hill would be. And it's Plus not, it's not dry ice. No, no, it's, we think it's water ice on the avalanches. It still could be dry ice though. No, the, where it is, it's too warm for dry ice. The, the, the places that they're seeing these RSLs, it's too warm for dry ice. Um, you do realize this is like putting your hand on uh, a rock, a sharp pointy rock, and some... press a sharp pointy rock, and pressing down on the top of it, and cutting your finger, I mean your hand in half, <laughs> and think, and wondering if it won't cut your hand in half. Like seriously. How are you going to get it wet if there's no water? No, but there's water vapor coming off the ice all the time. Let's see if we can lift this up again. This is only supporting our theory a bit. Oh god, what's wrong? Put me back. It is not leaving any trail. I'm not going to be sure we should do this. Huh? Um, we're just losing our theory. If we're losing our theory. <laughs> if we send this video out, God, we just lost everything. It's okay. It's science. Don't send this video out, Dad. No, science is always good to send out. You send this video out, and NASA will never believe us. It's not over yet. I doubt they'll even NASA will watch this, but 
Well, this is cool. <laughs> this is boring. How long has it been going on for? Ten okay. minutes. All right, it's probably not going to change. Because it's only been nineteen before. There is like no color there at all. It really didn't get it wet. Eh, at least we can show them the grand finale. Yeah. All okay. right. So we head to the hey guys, finale. This is not going to work, so we're going to aim. Oh, we for might them. blow. All right, we're just gonna go back just because. Okay, ready? Wait, let's turn off the pump. Ready, everyone? Okay. You want to do it? Hopefully, some people stay tuned. Ready? Ready. Three, two. Oh no, no, just do a little bit. I want to do a wind. No. Like, no, listen, on Mars. Then it won't do that. It will. Watch. No, it won't. What like. What happened? What happened? Like it won't blow everything up then. What? This one is not opening. We may have to do it your way just because. Maybe it's the other one that opens. Okay. <laughs> But Dad, this is the only way you would actually do anything. No, but I, I wanted to test if we could make a wind like on Mars and still have the balloon be mostly full, but this is really weird. Is there something... Can we just... Please! Just let me try this. We promised them a grand finale and you're not letting them have... Alright. Do your grand finale, buddy. There. Three, two, one. There's so much more particles. And fog, and it's actually picking up. Our lines. There's the cornice. See all the snow collected right there? <laughs> oh my god, we supported our theory! <laughs> we kind of did. Dad, if you didn't listen to me and we had the other thing, you would have never supported our theory. Alright, that's all we have and for today. And it's gathered by the ice! It's oh. perfect! Just, okay, let's. Okay, so this is. It's perfect! Um, that is funny. Okay, we're gonna just bring this ice over here so it can drip and show the, um... Everyone. That it does, that this iron sulfate does change color when you drip. Let's see if it'll drip. We might need it, um... Hmm? It's There's a drip. See how it's changing color where it's dripping? But this is non-vacuum drippage. We sort of... We improved our theory a bit. No. We're just... Like, that uh, napkin would be... It was cool the way the snow gathered in that one spot, kind of. Or the yeah. simulated snow. The paper towel was our simulated snow. Okay, see how it's dripping again? That wasn't actually supposed to happen, by the way. It just randomly happened. <laughs> it okay. sort of supports our theory, though. We'll it all in. went towards the ice. We're zooming in just in case they can't see. Are you saying they're blind? No, the camera was pretty far. <coughs> okay, so the point here is that when the iron sulfate gets wet, it does look different. So we had... Is there iron sulfate on Mars, though? Maybe. Maybe? Or something like it. There's other things that do this. And that... if anyone can, contact NASA and please tell them to send some like drone or something up to Mars and see to check if there's salt, cause it's not. <laughs> all right, that's all for.